Oh, would you believe it? It's spitting with rain. Let's just hope it will be no more than this. Change please, new balls. Henman leads four games to three, first set. Well, now the weather is certainly a factor we've all got to watch carefully today. It's one of those days when the clouds may or may not deposit their contents on us. And yesterday we had those miserable moments of just tiny drizzle, enough to uh, send the players from the court, and it stopped just now. And at the moment, one of these close contests Mark, how important in a match of this sort, which means so much to both men, is the first set? Well, psychologically, I think it is important, though with the inclement weather, that is negated a little bit simply because the players over the last few days have been on and off uh, so frequently that they have to reconcentrate all the time. And, and as soon as you go off, it's almost as though when you come back, you start the match afresh again. Time. But conditions really are very difficult out here because the... The wind is blustery. In fact, that's probably a good thing because it's keeping the rain off. But it, I think the, the difficulty of the conditions is contributing to quite a lot of mistakes by both players. So, new balls. It's Martin to serve. Fifteen on. Here's a man who you will recognize, Roger Taylor, the last man from Britain to be a quarter-finalist woman. In fact, he was a semi-finalist that year, 1973, a third time he'd appeared in a Wimbledon semi-final. Solid point here by Martin. Good deep serve. Henman struggles really to control it, but look at the placement of the volley. Moves in, and a very solid, firm hit. Got down rather well to that. Turn that Henman needs at the feet to get Martin really to bend, and that volley dropped short and allowed the pass. Okay, Martin. Four games. So, ominously, for British supporters, the Martin serve is improving. Up now to 48% of first serves in, that is. Whoa. Whoa. Love 
Love 15. Well, I think there was method there. In, it sliced back and tried to keep the ball low to a big man, make him play as many low balls as possible. Henman leads five games to four, first set. And Henman saving himself there with two fine first serves. Match rather like a Davis Cup tie, this, Mark? Yes, I, I, there is a real atmosphere, a, a, a tense atmosphere, I think, arguably, around the centre court. And there's a, a lot at stake for both players. Tim Henman emerging onto the international world scene, really making a name for himself, and his opponent, Todd Martin, really has also a great opportunity. If, if he's going to make his mark, he needs to do it in this tournament. And David Felgate, who's done such a fine job with Tim Hellman, now, what, uh, what would he be saying? I think the most important thing for him is to, to keep positive, uh, to go for his shots. And both players actually are missing quite a lot of shots at the moment by the smallest of margins. Time. And this is uh, Todd Martin's coach, Dean Goldfein. Well, I think he's probably quite happy with the way Todd Martin's playing. As this match progresses, he's getting more and more solid. And this is the problem that Henman has got. He needs to put this man away in the first set. And there's no time like the present, because Martin's serving to stay in the first set. Well, the ball from a tall man does bounce up higher. Have to play that practically at head height. One of the things you can do, of course, is to stand in closer. Then the speed of the serve may be too much. He's standing well back at the moment. to the point is the return. It's a, a lifeless return, and then Martin not 15, able to 30. do much. 
gave the opening for Henman to make the pass. A chance, 15.30. such a calm man look how he deals with this difficult miss hit return Forcing the error to produce the first set point. Ah! Immediate overrule from Jerry Armstrong. Tim Henman may not like it, but there was certainly a puff of uh, white. Let's look at this for ourselves. Which side of the line did it bounce? Well, it seemed to me to hit the center line. Advantage, Martin. Five games all. So each man now has benefited from an overrule. And Martin came through that test with flying colours. Fifteen. Fifteen all. Five all, love fifteen. And against a return like that, that was a fine first volley. Yes, the sun is fitfully appearing. It makes the toss difficult from this end. Brilliant return. That's where he's so dangerous. 30 all. Uncompromising. Taking the ball with two hands there. Locking it back, using the server's pace. 